I'm so glad to be able to be here. First and foremost, and I tell this to everybody, if you witness anybody being bullied, reach out. You have wonderful teachers. They want to know. They want to make a difference. If you're being bullied, you don't hesitate to reach out to one of your teachers. They're there to help we all care. We want this to end. It is not okay. And so someone will make it go away. And then last but not least, if you are bullying, just know you don't have to do that to get attention. You don't have to do that to make a difference. People will like you, and you don't have to do that. I'm a junior, and I was bullied for quite a long time from fourth grade until ninth grade. I don't even know what I'm saying. Now I'm trying to um, take a stand and get involved in things like this because I don't want any other kid to have to go through this and to not and to think that they're alone and to not realize that there are so many amazing people here that are behind them and that are standing up for him and are going to help them no matter what happens. Kindness is defined as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. All of it is so simple, really. Yet statistics tell us that one in four kids in the U.S. are bullied on a regular basis. It's an epidemic in our schools, in our community, and even in our homes. It's our job to teach respect, acceptance, equality. My little girl, who is now in her second year of participating, is very wise and she's sweet. And she told me the other day, as shown in her artwork, when you plant seeds of kindness, love will grow. My random act of kindness was reading a book to Miss Bolson's class. It was really fun. My random act of kindness was helping Miss Liz Simmons put books away. Helping the guests, our teacher, clean up paper scraps. I felt happy and she said thank you. These are two fabulous books by Trudy Ludwig discuss the problem of bullying from the perspective of two girls. The first book, My Secret Bully, is the story of Monica, who is the target of emotional bullying by a girl that she considers to be her friend. Her friend Katie is mean to her in ways that are very subtle, but nevertheless, they're very hurtful. The second book, The Confessions of a Former Bully, allows the reader to peer into the psyche of Katie as she begins to understand her mistreatment of Monica and others was nothing less than bullying. She would talk to Monica, talk about Monica to other girls, and when Monica would ask her what they were talking about, Katie would say, oh, I'll tell you later, Monica, and all the girls would begin giggling and laughing. Monica was becoming distressed about this, about the way Katie was treating her. And when she asked Katie if Katie was mad at her for something, Katie just dismissed Monica's feelings. One day, Monica received a letter from Katie. Katie was apologizing for all the mean and nasty things she had said to Monica. And the good thing is, Katie wrote a journal about her transformation from bully to former bully. And it has valuable advice like totally awesome ways to empower yourself with empower tools that you can use to stop bullies and advice on what you can do if someone is cyberbullying you. So I hope you'll get a chance to check out these books and others about bullying and be a part of the solution to stop bullying in Ulster County. My random act of kindness was to clean up the paper towels outside the bathrooms next to room 209. My random act of kindness was helping the custodian sweep the 
the cafeteria for. Sometimes I'd stay in for my whole recess time. I gave away an ornament I made myself to my bus driver. I felt kind. The acts that you do that are kind to the people in your class and in your house and everywhere you meet can make a huge difference. The best thing you can do right now is create an environment where everybody feels respected. When you look around the room, look and see what I see. So you see your friends and other classmates, but you know what I see? The future. I see people who are going to change the future, run the country, make a difference, and do something remarkable that we don't even know about right now. Each and every one of you will shape the future, and I owe all of you a debt of gratitude, because someday, maybe one of you in this room is going to become the next county executive. And when that happens, I hope you'll be able to look back and say, it was my generation that did away with bullying.